All right, how you guys doing tonight? It's about uh, almost 10 after 6 on the East Coast here. Good to see everybody here. James, uh, we got uh, ooh, HWASL. I'm not sure which team you have, but good to see you here. And uh, Randy, great to see you. And uh, I, I, I think I sent you a note. We'll be talking to you over the next couple days, keeping the loop on that Winfield card. Um, great to have everybody here tonight on a Sunday night. Thank you for breaking away for some uh, football for a little bit here. I think the Seahawks are up around 9 or 10 to 3 right now. So uh, got some good football today as well. But I want to thank everybody for joining us for a baseball break tonight. We got Tops Update. Uh, 2019. So if you're looking for your rookies, uh, guys like that, September call-ups, this is the place. This is the ones you're going to want to get. Uh, we broke these on some on Friday night as well, and that went really well. A uh, ton of rookies. This is the other half of that case. It was a half case break. This is the other half of that. We are going to do some more of this next weekend as well uh, while we're planning out probably a mixer or something for either right before it or right after it. So uh, keep an eye open for that. We love our mixers. And if you joined us last night, uh, it was our first uh, JT. Okay, cool. You got the Red Sox. Hey, what's up, Mike and Zane? How you doing, Kid Baseball? Uh, good to see you guys. Um, if you joined us last night, it was our first break of the year. Uh, we took uh, about a week off over the holidays. And uh, we broke last night, or I'm sorry, not last night, on Friday. And we did a couple of giveaways that uh, weren't advertised. It's kind of a bonus to thank you guys for joining us and uh, starting off the new year right, we gave away a, an autographed baseball from Drew Pomerantz, if I remember correctly, and uh, and Owen tonight. <laughs> Good to see you guys. And uh, we also gave away a uh, an autographed uh, helmet, uh, KC Royals. It was autographed by three different guys. I want to say it was Ra Raul Abanez, Mike Sweeney, and Paul Bird, maybe, I want to think. So uh, thank you guys for joining us on Friday. On uh, tonight, we're going to do something a little bit similar, not quite as uh, as big on the prizes, but we got a couple items we're going to raffle off. Raffle off. We're going to random off at the end of the uh, at the end of the break here as well. Uh, one auto, one of them is an autographed item, and uh, anyway, stick around to the end of the draft. Everybody who's in this break has an opportunity to to win those. And if you've got multiple teams, you're going to have multiple entries. So what we're going to do is basically do a random, and one team will come out of that. If you got that team, then you are the winner of those extra prizes. So in any case, um, what else we got here? Sorry, about we started a couple minutes late. Um, for you guys who do YouTube streaming, um, I don't know if you guys are seeing the same thing we're running into here. On the last 10 days, our stream key has changed like five times, and it's changed like three times in the last like five days it's really odd so uh, i'm not sure why it's changing so much but that got us kind of a late start today so i apologize for that and we got one more thing here actually before we get started on this uh on this uh we got friday's cards sorted and those are getting ready to go out but we were doing some extra sorting and um i just want to show you something that was kind of innocuous and we were putting away some cards and i came across this card just looks fairly normal here. Matt Olson um, plays for the A's, six foot five, big old uh, um, lefty, and there's nothing. There's no markings to indicate this is anything special. And uh, but when I turned it over, twenty-two of one fifty, no special color. Um, it's not a short print. And I want to see, I, I, I had to do some research here to find out what it was, but I was wondering if you guys, just out of kind of curiosity, almost like a quiz, you guys know what's special about this? I'll show you guys one more time. See, it's tough to get it in focus here, and I apologize for that. But this one actually is, there's a reason it's 220150, why it's actually uh, serialized. And this is the first time I ran across this, and it's not a short print, it's not a super short print, and it's not a base card. <laughs> so anyway, I want to share this with you because I thought it was kind of interesting. So what the deal with this one is, is it's, a, um, it's an advanced stat parallel. And I don't know if these exist. This is a Series 1. It's not an update. And I got to check to see if they're in Series 2 or update. But I didn't even know this animal existed, the advanced stat parallel. And to the point that it's actually one of their gold ones, because typically, you know, with these, there's a uh, black serial number usually up in this area. And if it's gold, it means something. It means you've done something good. So let me pop up, if I've done this correctly, hopefully I get these in the right order. 
Um, nope, that's not it. There you go. All right, so this is a close-up of the back of this thing. So take a look. Instead of your normal, like, yearly stats, um, it does actually have it by the year. They're off to the left. You can't see it. But look at the stats that are tracked on the back of this thing. Y exactly, Ryan. Yeah, you're exactly right. I had not run across one of these before, and I don't know how many guys had run across these, but I guess what I'm saying is when you're sorting your cards out, don't necess necessarily go by the front of it, having a different color border or something uh, before you dismiss it as kind of uh, not a great card, because this was just going to go with some normal, you know, here's some A's from some top series one, and then I flipped it over and I saw that, and I thought that was kind of strange. So. Um, if you guys are new to the, uh, I know we got a mixture of some returning guys and some new guys. And if you're kind of new to this, one, one of the things you can do to tell, let me get the owner's crawl off of here so you can see this, is at the bottom there is a serial number. And let me, um, let me pop this up there. So you can do a little research and it's got the uh, 1915 is the end of your serial number there. And you can see it, it's going to be tough if you guys are on a phone. But if you're not on a phone, you'll be able to see across the bottom, I've put what the different serial number endings are. And this is uh, just for Series 1. They're going to be different for different series. So, like, um, for update, they're different. They're like 50, 55, 57, something like that. But uh, I don't know if there's an advanced stat parallel in anything but Series 1. But as you can see on the bottom there, there's base cards are 1910. Advanced stat parallels, again, it's first I'd seen of them, 1915. Uh, short print variations end in 1967, and short, super short print variations end in 1968. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you really quickly. Let me get those off the screen here. Um, yeah, perfect. There we go. So in case you guys run across something like this, it took me a second to realize it because I didn't really look at the stats really closely at first, but obviously that means it's a significant card. So I wanted to share that with you before we got started. I thought it was something cool. And, uh, you know, every now and then we try to, you know, highlight stuff like that that's a little unusual. So let's get started, guys. we got a half of uh, a case to go here tonight. And again, just a big old block of these things. They're huge. They're 34 cards per pack. A ton of rookies are always in these. And again, look for this week. We should be listing some more. The uh, next Fridays, uh, I think, are just starting to list now. The uh, update break for next Friday. We'll have one either maybe Saturday or Sunday as well. And we're going to try to fit a mixer in. Uh, I think it be in there somewhere as well. I may have to get pushed the next week, but we should have that as well coming up. We do like our mixers. Give you guys some exposure to several products um, with only the purchase of one team. So... Gmail from our website. I will take a look, Mike. I'm not sure. I saw. I didn't see anything come through, but let me double check. It's been a hectic weekend. Um, we'll check it. Oh, very cool, Ryan. Well, good luck, Ryan. Let's see. Who does Ryan have? Uh, Padres. Looks like he got tonight. Padres did good last night. So I, I hopefully you, uh, we should have another good night for them. And uh, so here we go. We got the wall of, uh, of fat packs here. <laughs> so we got 24 packs. Uh, we got a lot to go through here, so we'll get started. But anyway, I just want to share that interesting card with you. Uh, again, it's something I hadn't run across. But um, have to look. I, I, I honestly don't know if it's available in these other ones or whether that was something just for Series 1. All right, guys. Good luck, everybody. And thank you for joining us again on a Sunday. Um, in between our eBay breaks, which you'll see them listed on our eBay store, uh, we also do uh, single box breaks. Most of them are baseball, but we venture into football. And we do, we do occasionally uh, break on eBay football. Um, I don't know if we're going to go into basketball or not. We really try to stay true to our roots, but uh, we're big football fans as well. So sometimes we do kind of um, wander off there. We're thinking about... I'm, looking about and we're talking about possibly some Bowman draft um, even the Bowman Sapphire draft kind of interests us a little bit too so we're taking a look at some products right now all right guys here we go good luck everybody uh, we got Spencer Turnbull uh, everything did sell tonight so that's good every every team is accounted for Let me, uh, second here guys let's get the card down 
Ryan Dozier, and right off the bat for Milwaukee, Keston Hiura. I'm going to probably say that wrong all night. That is going out to the Brew Crew right off the bat. That is Nick. So our first rookie you're going to be looking for, Keston. Let's see, we got Joe Kelly, Mitch Keller, Junior Guerra, Tommy Edmond. Everybody's going to end up with a pretty good pile of uh, guys by the end of tonight. You guys will find out, um, you know, there's some repetition. And for you guys who are new, um, if you've ever broken with us in a, a card like this, um, where there's two on it, normally we'd random that off in a smaller break, but we're going to see this card probably about probably about four times. So what I'll end up doing is just splitting them between the two owners. So if there was just going to be one of these tonight, then we'd random it off, but we're going to see several of these over the course of the night, and we're just going to basically split them between the two teams. There's only a couple cards that that, that really affects. So uh, Chris Paddock, good rookie pitcher for San Diego. And Ryan, I believe that is. Pittsburgh. We got one for the White Sox, south side. Shane Bieber. We did tend to get a lot of gold cards, ones like that, that were numbered in the last few breaks. We did get a one-of-one one Nick Senzel, um, the last case we broke of this. So there is some opportunity in here. Even though it's the retail case, it's not loose packs. It's a, an actual case, but it's a retail, retail configuration. So you hit, like, re, uh, autos and... Um, the relics about as often as you would in maybe a blaster configuration. They're not going to be constant, but you'll see them scattered in. All right, so our first gold uh, of the night is a Dave Robertson for the Phillies. And let's see, that's Kenny, I believe, with the Phillies. And that is 66 of 2019. So congratulations. It's our first numbered card of the night. All right, guys. Next up, going out to the Cubbies and Kid Baseball. We got a Carrie Wood, 1984, 35th anniversary uh, design. Yeah, not numbered. If they're numbered, typically these would be numbered down in the bottom corner. That one going out to the Cubs early. Dude, like these 1984 throwbacks. Next up, we've got an Ichiro going out to Seattle, perennial All-Stars. We've got a Justin Bohr for the Angels, a Nicky Lopez, Clayton Richard, and a Jake Odorizzi going out to the Twins. And again, I didn't look, see if there was any... Uh Right off the bat, sometimes I, I'll look, see if we, any obvious relics or anything. I don't think in this pile. So we got a Moose, Mike Moustakis. We got a Lucas Giolito going out to the White Sox. Amir uh, Garrett for Cincinnati. Austin Meadows, Frankie Montes. We've got a Jerkson Profar. Hector Neris. And some of these guys are going to be uh, September call-ups in here as well. If you haven't heard of them, that's, that's probably why they're getting their... Uh, quick cup of coffee there in September. Christian Yelich going out to the Brew Crew. Jose Abreu. There's a Matt Chapman. There are some pretty cool short prints in here. We did end up getting a Ken Griffey Jr. short print, him diving in the outfield. And a um, and during the sorting process, it turns out Baltimore got a Mike Messina one as well, Gregory Soto, during our uh, first half of this case. DJ LeMahieu, Brian Reynolds, Frankie Galvis, Alex Jackson, Trevor Cahill, Peter Lambert, Ryan Harper. Got a Jeff McNeil, real deal. He was in a fight for the uh, National League batting title for a bit uh, at the end of the season there. Uh, DJ LeMahieu, Texas rookie combos, and rookie Blue Jays pitcher Trent Thornton. Guys, on to the next set of cards. Got a Miguel Castro hiding under my finger there for Baltimore. Adam Octavino. Got a Brad Hand. And a lot of these, whoop, we got a foil coming up next. A lot of these you'll see in different configurations. There'll be base cards, which have kind of nothing here. We'll have the All-Star Game cards, which will have the little All-Star Game emblem in the side. 
And along with the All-Star Game, you'll see the uh, Home Run Derby, and um, you also see a rookie debut when it had a, a date listed along with the rookie debut. So a lot of the guys like the Pete Alonzos and the Vladdy Guerreros will have all three of those configurations during, in, during this set. So next up here, going out to San Francisco, and let's see who's got the Giants tonight. We got... Marcel, I believe. Uh, Tyler Austin, that's a foil. Probably not numbered. Nope, not on this one. But that's still a nice card. Going out to the Giants. Next up, going out. There's a good one. To the Indians, Oster Mercado. He's somebody you're going to want to keep an eye on. Came up at the end of the year. If you have the Indians, that's one of the ones you're going to be looking for. Alonzo's. Uh, Alonzo's are always strong in this product. Always strong. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if we get 8 to 10 Alonzo's tonight. Would not shock me. I, I can't guarantee anything, but ah, they seem to be uh, very much uh, stocking this product with him. There's a couple of these guys that are very well represented. Um, that would not surprise me. They got a late start. I was kind of getting worried. It took about mm, six, seven packs, I think, before we saw our first Alonzo last night. Got me a little scared. And then it, the, once the somebody turned the faucet on, that was all over. And that one for today. Hey, there we go. Speaking of kid baseball, Chris Bryant. That one going out to uh, Zane there. Yeah. Alonzo was everywhere. So that, they're a good buy. Definitely a good buy in this one. Um, Toronto's a good buy in this one as well. Uh, not only you get a lot of uh, Vladdy Juniors, but you're also ending up with a lot of Kevin Biggios. Chavises, we had a ton of Chavis last night. I think we ended up close to about six to eight Chavis. Uh, he's very well represented, and he has he's somebody with uh, the several variations as well. So it was, I think, like two or three of uh, each of the variations. So I'm, I'm hoping for that trend. We that's That trend's been in place for... I want to say this is our third case we've broke of this, and we have another one coming up, and I would expect both of these to be right, right in there. So it was weird. They started out slow, and then it just, it was the floodgate opened up, and everybody, you know, got what they thought they were going to get. And again, here's that card we were talking about, and we'll split these cards uh, amongst the Phillies and the Atlanta owners. Chris Paddock. There's a Vladdy Guerrero as we speak. Very nice. And the Blue Jays. Tonight, I'm probably going to have to get used to saying this, so I better learn it. That's Thomas. Oh, welcome back, Thomas. Good to see you. There we go. Our first Vladdy of the night. Brennan. Jose Iglesias. See a gold coming up here. Asmani Grandal. We got a Shane Bieber. Jose Barrios. Let's see, we got a bunch of landscaped ones here. We got a Kyle Dowdy, Richard Lovelady, Andrew Miller, and we've got a Calvin Herrera, followed by a Thurman Munson. And I'll tell you guys, this is my favorite player right here. Plays for the Yankees. I long time ago, uh, we we're originally from New York, and uh, this is the guy that I really uh, absolutely loved. Until he passed away, unfortunately. And then my current team, the Blue Jays, happened to beat these guys a year or two after Thurman died. And being a kid, uh, bounced over <laughs> on that and became a Blue Jays fan and been a Blue Jays fan since. But Thurman Munson, great player, captain for the Yankees. Right there, Yankees captain. Good player, good Yankee. All right, Texas. Starting early. Good to see Texas get something. Rangers are Jeff. There we go. Adrian Sampson. Rookie card. Gold. So that's going to be numbered. And that is 137 of 2019. Let's see if I can find that sweet spot where stuff's pretty well focused. There we go. All right. Another gold already. Through a ton of supplies the other night, but that's a good thing. 
things were hitting a lot. Buster Posey. Moradizi again. Got Moose, Mustakis, Martin Maldonado, Kirk Casali, Jerickson Profar, Hector Nuris, another Yelich. Got a Jose Abreu, Matt Chapman. We've already seen a couple of these guys. Ty France, Tommy Conley, I'm guessing. Luis Reyes, another uh, Kristen Yelich. We got a Travis Bergen rookie card. All right, guys, that's the first couple packs. Let's get started into more here. From London. Very nice. And thank you for joining us. Wait a minute, am I shipping to London? Did you guys slip in there? Am I shipping to something London and I'm not aware of this? I mean, no offense, we're awesome to see you guys. I just don't, uh, I, I don't know that we charged enough for London shipping. Holy cow, well, great to see you. We have been to London. The uh, Brake Brothers... The last time we were over collectively in London was 2007 for the Led Zeppelin reunion. Uh, we had we got tickets to the Led Zeppelin reunion in London, and the two of us went over there, the Brake Brothers, and uh, took in some uh, our favorite rock band. So, <laughs> storage <in> your... <laughs> very good. All right. And I should have said, I should ask what London, because there's a couple uh, towns in the U.S. that are named London. You know, you could you could have had me on the, uh, <laughs> caught me on a technicality there. So, very good. <laughs> very good. All right. Well, great to have you tonight. All right. Oh, all right. Well, here we go, guys. Might as well get this out of the way. Pete Alonzo. Only a matter of time. That's his rookie debut card. Like you said, you'll see it down here. Very nice. And that is... I better get used to this one as well. Mets, Mary Lou. Mary Lou with the Mets. The women, they're taking all the Mets. Last night, Maria. She cashed in hard on the Mets. So the Mets owners, I expect them to do well. Mary Lou, I, I think you're going to have a good night. So there we go. That's the first of the Pete Alonzo's. Certainly not the last. London, Ontario. Exactly right. Exactly right, my friend. Uh, Jesus Sucre. Oh, let me uh, put these over here. Taking a little bit of time. Uh, Adam Housley. Mark Reynolds. Taylor Clark. Derek Dietrich. Got hot for a little bit there. Uh, Kevin Cron. Edwin Encarnacion. I do like Ontario, by the way. We're big big friends of Canada. Uh, Thomas Pannone. Hence Blue Jays in my case. Jordan Luplau. Um, Ian Kinsler. And again, Josh Harrison. Awesome photograph, but every time I see it, I keep thinking to myself, what was the photographer doing camped out there? Nevertheless, great shot. We got Chapman. Again, iced out, showing off some rings. Uh, Yuri's Familia, Familia. Scott Oberg. Adam Judge for the Yankees. We got a 150th. Right down there, you can see Carter Kiboom. And that is a rookie variation, so very nice. Going out to the Twins. And who's got the Twins tonight? That's Thomas as well. Very cool. Congrats. Trying to do a little organizing while we're uh, breaking here. It is the Break Brothers. There's typically two of us, but it's just one of me tonight. Uh, the other half of the Break Brothers is still on the mend. And... Uh, Difficult for him to get around, so we expect to see him soon. He's He's been to our break headquarters here, uh, but it's just difficult for him to get over here at the moment. And so let me see here. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to get my uh, bearings on some of these. 
So we will have the other half of the Brake Brothers back. Goodness knows I do miss them. Uh, if for nothing else, it is tough doing all these sorting here. So <laughs> he's very good. Uh, he's he's very good at uh, sorting through these and helping these almost real time, uh, getting a lot of this stuff done. It's um, it really streamlines the process. We do have very quick shipping, and uh, compared to a lot of the breakers, and um, that is one reason why. So Andy Diaz, pretty cool picture for Tampa Bay. Ooh, Kevin Biggio coming up over here. We got a Francisco Lindor. The other have the break brothers, Jeff. Uh, he is in the chat room with us, as he often does. He's managing the chat room during our breaks. Um, he is a frequent overseas traveler. He uh, definitely he knows Europe, so uh, I, I'm sure he can relate a lot there. Brick, uh, Brit brother or Brit brothers, Brit breaks and takes. Uh, Paul DeJong, Sonny Gray, We've got a Cody Bellinger, Javi Baez going out to the Cubbies. We've got a Montana Durapau. There's our first Michael Chavez. Certainly not the last either. Let's see here. Top loader. First Michael Chavez of the night, and that's his rookie debut version. Congratulations. First one for you, James. Freddie Freeman, Michael Brantley, Melky Cabrera, Chris Granderson. Here's another Carter Keyboom. Good rookie to keep an eye on. Lane Thomas, Alex Calme, Braden Bishop, Marco Estrada, Samson, and Francisco Lariano. He's another guy kind of like uh, Estrada. They've been around for a little bit. Estrada actually used to pitch for the Jays back in the day. Bounced around a little bit. Oh, we're off the bat here. Let's get that one out of the way. We've got a Kevin Biggio going out to Toronto. And if you've got the uh, Jays, that's one you're going to be uh, keeping an eye open for. Going out to Thomas. He came up and was just slapping doubles around. Extra base, hit, base hits everywhere, so I expect he'll pick back up with that again this year. Got a Mike Yastrzemski, again for San Francisco. That's going to be one you're going to be looking for. Very good player. Tied for the team lead in home runs this last year at 21. He was tied with Kevin Pillar, um, one of his outfield mates. Carlos Santana, Baltimore Rookies, Ryu, now a member of Toronto, soaring in the six. That's a Vladdy right there. Not really an official card, but um, as far as a Vladdy card, but he is included. Alcantara, uh, Degrom, then followed up by. A Shoei Itani, 35th anniversary. And that, I believe, if I remember correctly, this is an error card in that they've listed him in as a rookie still. I'd have to verify that, but I seem like I remember hearing that. That since last year was his rookie card, this one should not have been, but for somehow it made it through the cracks. No autos last case, or well, I'm sorry, first half of this case, uh, but we did get a relic. That was it, unfortunately. Normally we've, um, it's normally about two we're seeing per half case. About 800 cards, or 800 cards, yeah, about 800 cards, I want to say. Um, it varies. We've gotten more before. Uh, last time, like the other, our first half of this case, we've only saw one. Uh, we did get a nice one of one Nick Senzo, though, last case, which was nice. Um, but they are stingy on autographs. That seems to be the, the case even with the normal hobby. Even with the guarantees, there seems to be more relics than autos for some reason. Um, 
and I don't know why. Every other product just lays on the autos and, and, and the big fat you know patch relics, but Topps is kind of stingy with them. So we got Shoei Atani there, and that is the Angels going out to Matt. There you go, Matt. Yeah, exactly, with the Shane Bieber, <laughs> the Justin, yeah. The uh, Mark McGuire, Gutierrez, A.J. Pollock, Brad Boxberger, Billy Hamilton, Yasiel Puig, Josh Donaldson. There's one for the Braves. That is his Gold Cup card, Ronald Acuna Jr., Domingo Santana, a Brandon Woodruff, Yasmani Grandal, Whit Merrifield, hits leader there, Fernando Tatis. Outstanding, going out to the Padres. Oh, where's my top loaders? There we go. Going out to Ryan. There you go, buddy. And that is his debut card. You can see down here with the date listed. So that is our first Tatis of the night. Followed right back by another Vladdy, and that is the Home Run Derby edition of his rookie card. Going out to Thomas. up. Brendan Rodgers, another good rookie. That one for the Rockies. And a Josh Bell. For the Braves, Austin Riley. Jose Alvarado. No problem, Ryan. I imagine we'll be seeing more of him. Again, saying this is the other card I was talking about that we'll end up giving... Uh, we'll be getting multiples, multiples of these, so we'll just dis uh, distribute them amongst the two of you. We've got unless let's see. I didn't even check on some of these. Sometimes it's the same owner with both halves of that, and then in which case, obviously, you get them all. So we've got a Paul Goldschmidt here. Hopefully, in focus. Got a Nate Lau. Got a Wade Miley. Spencer Turnbull. Brian Dozier. Here's another Keston. Going out to the Brew Crew. And Nick. So that is number two. For Keston of the night. Joe Kelly. Sergio Romo. Kevin Plowicki. Got a Hunter Spence. Justin Verlander. Steel City. Got a Southside. We got a 150th. Greg Holland. Going out to the Diamondbacks. That's Wesley. Where's my 150th pile here? Sorry, guys. Doing a little bit of trying to get ahead of this so we can do a proper recap. Next up. We've got for the Astros of Michael Brantley, and again, that's a 35th anniversary. 1984 design. Not numbered, but still a very nice card. And the Astros owner tonight is Robert. Ted Williams going out to Boston. We got a Jim Bunning. 
like to check the bottom of those, ah, or top of those, because that's what happens. 264, 299. That one's going out to the Phillies. Kenny. Very nice. It's tough to. I think that's not. Oh, it's gold or what it's supposed to be, but it's deceiving. So I've gotten in the habit of just having to look at that thing because it's it's inevitable. A couple of those will sneak by if you're not uh, keeping your eyes open. There we go. Got Austin Allen, Justin Bohr, Nikki Lopez, Clayton Richard, Austin Riley, Jordan Lyles. Got a Pujols 2000 RBIs. Black border on the edges. Let's bring it back out. You're probably right, I assume. You are right. We got some black borders. I'm not sure what color they are normally here, but. We'll check on the next 150 to see what the normal color is. It might be just a uh, white here gradient, but very cool, nonetheless. Red border, okay. Yeah, I don't know that I've seen any of the red border, so I, I would assume you're pretty right on that one. All right, let's see here. We got Elvis Luciano, Alex Bregman, Oscar Mercado. Again, for Cleveland, you're going to want to keep an eye on that guy. Giolito, Amir Garrett, Austin Meadows, and a Frankie Montes. All right. Soto's? I don't know if Soto is in the update. I'm not sure if... Uh, He's on our, if he is, he's probably in an insert, something of that nature. I don't think he's got an actual card in the uh, in update for this one. There's Michael Chavez. I would need to check the checklist to verify, though, but I don't believe he's, he's in update. Again, update is kind of like an addition to the um, Series 1 and the Series 2. So... Uh, Personal collection? Yes, both myself uh, and, my, and the other half of the Brake Brothers, uh, we personally collect. Uh, I mean, player-wise? Oh, it's tough. If you're asking player-wise, it's we have a couple of favorites, but it's it's a mixture of old and new guys, so it's it's tough. Um, yeah, but we definitely collect on our, our, our own uh, outside of here as well. But we do love seeing the... the um, you know, the cards have passed through us. There's some really nice one-of-ones we've seen come through. So that is one of the advantages to collecting these or breaking these is that you do see some stuff, even if you don't get to keep it, at least you see some pretty cool stuff. So we got a Kevin Biggio right off the bat going out to Toronto. I can tell you that I'm a, I'm a big Toronto fan. I don't collect a ton of Toronto cards. A lot of the, uh, you know, these days there's more reason to. We got guys like this. Um, if you look at some of our um, like our grading stuff, we have a couple grading videos where we send stuff off to get graded, and also we've highlighted some patches and stuff, some RPAs that we own. You'll see a lot of the stuff we collect in there. I we, we like a lot of the flashier big logo patches and things like that uh, that are a little tougher to track down, that are low number, um, and it varies on the players. It all depends. We like cool cards, and if we can get them from our favorite players, that's you know even a bigger bonus. Merrill Kelly. We got another Pete Alonzo, though. Mary Lou. Ah, another Cubs fan. Kid Baseball. Check out his channel, Ryan. Check out Kid Baseball's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, they collect... Uh, they're they're uh, Cubs guys and uh, really cool channel, uh, young enthusiast enthusiastic collector and Zane, 
and uh, absolutely a riot watching his videos. It's um, it, it's a good it's a it's a good channel to watch. It it'll, it'll, it puts you in a good place. It really does. Um, yeah, low numbered parallels relics. We have a ton of like um, socks and hats and batting gloves and some of the oddities as well. Uh, there's just so much cool stuff out there. It's easy to get pretty scattered on it. Um, we'll try to get into some of the mixers that have some of the high-end cards so we can pull some of those. And that's why we, we do have a couple of those mixers that we've done on here, and we'll, we'll probably do some more. Uh, the mixers can get some of those nice high-end cards in your hands for a relatively good price because uh, a lot of the hobby boxes, um, a lot of the hobby boxes are just, for the good price stuff, are like, two to five hundred bucks or, or more and you know to go get them yourself is tough it's a lot easier to get you know a piece of them through the breaks so in the case of this one i want to take another look at one of the 150s because we did get that numbered one in this case it isn't a black border it's just kind of a, a you know white watermark over the top of the uh uh just to lighten up the borders here over the with picture underneath it so you're right that one was a black border and that must uh, dictate that color yeah uh, so i guess the rest of them are just uh you know, just uh, part of the picture. Randy Johnson. And uh, one of the things I always like to say about Randy Johnson is if you, you're not aware of it, is uh, he's easy to spot. He's like six foot ten or something. So if you see him in an airport or something, you're definitely going to notice him. Uh, some athletes are very approachable. You can get an, an autograph off of them. Randy Johnson, you're going to have to really corner him. <laughs> he's... Uh, it's tough to get one from Randy Johnson, but Randy Johnson hates signing autographs to the point. Well, his are, are, are usually go for a good amount of money because they're kind of rare. But what he does, if you've managed to corner him and get an autograph out of him, he signs a free one, so to speak, out in the wild differently than he does something he's paid for by, say, Tops or a Panini or something. Um and what he he'll give you a scolding as well, a tongue lashing about you, he better not see it on eBay, you know, if he signs something because that's what his whole thing is is that these people that are approaching him aren't doing it for their because they really like him, they're doing it to sell something, you know, with his name on it, and that really kind of gets under his skin. There's another Javi Baez, um, so again, what he'll do is he'll sign something different out in the wild, and then he goes on eBay. He goes on eBay and then looks for those freebie signatures that he can differentiate uh, by that free signature, which is different from his pay signature. And then he usually gives grief through the messages to uh, or a representative and will give grief to the people selling it uh, out in the wild. It's it's crazy. I, I've read that several places. Thankfully, I haven't run across him, um, but interesting nonetheless. So we got another Michael Chavez there. Very nice going out to James. That is number two for Chavez. Got a Freddie Freeman, great, great hitter, kind of the veteran in the uh, Atlanta cup clubhouse right now. Curtis Granderson, Michael Chavez, right back at you. No doubt, Ryan. It's uh, We have very scattered personal collections because if we just stuck to the guys we like, we wouldn't have that many cards, but there's so many cool things out there. Um, yeah, it's tough. It's uh, it's it's very tough. Michael Chavez. There's another version. That is the base rookie card. Marlon Gonzalez. Sky Bolt. Neil Walker. Cole Irvin. Luke Weaver. Will Smith. Very good rookie for the Dodgers. Travis Darno. There's an Eloy. All right, going out to Nick. Break some ground on some Eloy. That's our first of the night. Alright. A little room here for some Eloy. Then we've got Tyler Austin and a Scott Alexander. Next up, let's see. Cincinnati Queen City, Masahiro Tanaka. We've got some Angels, Pacific Power. Got Washington, rookies, rookie combos. Jared Walsh. All right. Got Marco Estrada. Brought him up a little bit earlier. And that has a gold edition going out to the A's. 
And who's got the A's tonight? Jeff. Jeff with the A's. 1540 of 2019. And again, Nationals, Brewers, Blue Jays. Now the A's. There's a lot of young talent out there. Yeah, it's all the, those are the, all the good rookies in those teams. And there's some other guys now like Keston uh, for the Brewers. You got to keep an eye on. There's guys like that Mercado for uh, Cleveland. Uh, Bo Bichette, he came up, but he came up late, so his rookie card won't be until next year. All right, where's my gold pile here? Gold, 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 gold. Oh goodness. Followed by a 1984 35th anniversary of Roberto Clemente going out to the Pirates. And Pirates haven't called them Thomas. There we go. I imagine next year will be the 1985 design they'll use for these. If they keep up the 35th anniversary, which they tend to. It's generational young talent out there. It's, it's quite the uh, class of rookies right now. Brooks Robinson going out to Baltimore. We've got the GOAT, Gary Sanchez. CC Sabathia, 3,000 Ks. Got a Josh Naylor. Again, in this update, you're going to get a lot of the September call-ups, a lot of the, the late rookies, things like that. This fills out the complete set for the, uh, the tops. David Dahl and Trevor Story. Got another Acuna Jr. For the Braves. Got Bregman, fantastic player. Just seems to be getting better every year. Kyle Baraclow, Bar Bar sorry, Jonathan Scope, Jorge Polanco, Josh Bell, Jan Gomes, and Araldus Chapman. I'll have to keep an eye on him, Ryan. I don't know much about him yet. I've, we've been pulling his card quite a bit, that's for sure. Uh, Mike Moustakis. There's another Keston right there. Yeah, there's so much talent out there. Yeah, we get a lot of Vlads, and there's a lot of Biggios. You, you really do get a nice set. And we got a family business um, numbered Vladdy. Uh, on our first half of this case as well. Uh, Keston Hira. There's another one. Going out to the Brew Crew and Nick. That is number three, I believe, for Keston. Got a Robbie Grossman. Nick Senzel. All right, so the Reds. There we go, London. That's Andrew. Nick Senzel, that's one you're going to be keeping an eye open for. Great player for them. He got called up uh, good and early. I want to say it's got his, barely read that, the contrast is terrible. Looks like um, May 3rd, so it was pretty early. And he came out, did a little bit of noise, but then slowed down a little bit as the night, or the other uh, night, as the uh, season went on. Tapia, uh, Andrew Neiser, there's a good one for the Cardinals. Good rookie. Again, there's a lot of great rookies in there. Justice Sheffield, who came over from the Yanks. We've got Josh Fuentes, Nathan Evaldi, Evaldi uh, Ryan Helsley. We've got a Hansel Robles. I don't believe any relation to Victor Robles. Homer Bailey. Uh, Victor Robles is dating Juan Soto's sister. I did not realize that earlier in the year. I got some uh, one of the... Uh, I do have some Victor Robles cards, and one of the guys I got them from is kind of in the know, I guess, or something up in Washington. He deals in a lot of Washington cards, and uh, he's uh, apparently he, I didn't make it to the media, or at least I don't listen to that type of media about who's dating who, and apparently uh, Robles is dating Juan Soto's sister. So they're pretty close. But they're, his bottom line when he said it was basically that uh, it's gonna it's a very tight you know, almost family atmosphere out there because of that. They're, they're very close and uh, good young outfield there. So we got the GOAT, Gary Sanchez with the 150th. Going out to the Yankees. Who's got the Yanks tonight? Oh, Randy. Right on, Randy. There you go. The GOAT. 150.
Oh, yeah, the moose. Cecil Fielder. We gave away a, an autographed Cecil Fielder helmet a few uh, few weeks back. It inscribed a Big Daddy on top of it. It's pretty cool. Russell Martin. David Robertson. Joey Gallo. So one of the items we're going to give away tonight is a signed 8x10. Um, it's a, it's, a, you know, it's a probably a B-level guy, I would say. <laughs> um 141 career home runs as a middle infielder. There's a Mike Trout. Um, very good walks. Kind of a... I think there's a hole in his bat. Sometimes uh, this player... Uh, decent home runs, but uh, walks a lot, but doesn't, uh, doesn't strike out a lot. But his on base is good, but his low batting average. So we've got a signed 8x10 later. And then we've got another piece of memorabilia, or I guess you'd call it memorabilia, we're going to be giving away as well. Glebar Torres, great player for the Yanks. That's a Gold Cup card. John Means, great player for Baltimore. was in the Rookie of the Year contender. One of the Moose, kicking around in the bottom there. Ah, yep. Right at Junior. Much easier to get than Luis. That's why we're thinking about possibly doing some of the uh, Bowman draft or uh, cards like that. See if we can get some of those guys, the Adley Rushmans, uh, you know, in their Baltimore uniform. See if we can get their Bowman first card. So we may go that route uh, for the, uh, the mixer. Again, we're looking at possibilities for it. Don't have anything settled yet. All right, guys. Again, good luck to everybody. Should be due for about another gold card here, I would think, soon. Uh, Robbie Grossman. There's another Nick Senzel. Tapia, another Andrew Miser, Andrew Miser, Justice Sheffield, Josh Fuentes, Nathan Eovaldi, another Michael Chavez. Again, once he gets going with these Chavises, they seem to just one after another here. That's another of his base card. And that would be, let's see, Chavez, I believe, yeah, number four. Yeah, it's number four. Off to a quick start. Marlon Gonzalez. Let's see. Sky Bolt. Neil Walker. Homer Bailey. Tim Beckham. Max Muncy. Christian Walker. Scott Alexander. Queen City Kings. Got a Christian Yelich. 150th. Foul by for Milwaukee. A gold. Matt Elbers, and that is numbered 26. Nice little number of 2019. Nick. So Brewer's doing well early here between McKeston and cards like that. All right, Yadier. Future Hall of Famer, more than likely. David Robertson. Joey Gallo. Yeah, it really... Uh, the rookies were fantastic this year. Really invigorated the cards quite a bit because sometimes there goes a couple of years when there's nothing that really moves the needle very much. And it, this is this is great because... Well, they're a bit oversaturated, the guys, but... You know, a couple of years, once these guys kind of, you see who rises and who kind of settles in and who kind of falls off to the wayside, be it injury or whatever, um, everybody's going to have some pretty cool cards. There's going to be a lot of guys, uh, you know, a lot of good rookies to have gotten this year. John Means again, Nick Anderson, Trevor Story, David Dahl. We've got a Michael Pineda. There's our first Kikuchi of the night going out to Seattle. Who's Mariners? Randy. Very cool. Congrats, Randy. 
these cases, the Kikuchis go from a couple per break to just he's every other card. We've seen it go both ways with the Kikuchi. Navarez, Tyson Ross, Dallas Keuchel, John Duplantier, Jason Martin, uh, Larry Garcia, Zach Puizak. Here's rookie combos for San Francisco. We've got Jake Bowers for Cleveland. And we got Lucroy and Renato use Nunez for Baltimore. All right. On to there's a slug. There's the non gold version of Matt Elbers. Severino. We've got Washington rookies. James Bork and Jake Knoll. There is a family business, Vladimir Guerrero, senior. So that one goes out to the Nationals. We got a junior last time that was numbered. Same version of that, or that same family business card, but with junior on it. We got Tony Gwynn. We've got the New York Mets. We've got, there's another Vladimir Guerrero Jr., though, speaking of. go for Toronto that is looks like the third Vladdy Guerrero so far Fleece, Drew Pomerantz Corbin Martin it's another Nick Senzel though going out to the Reds Oh, yeah, yeah, everything ships, for sure. For sure, everything ships. Let me see. Uh... Let's see what the Queen City one. I don't think it's a shirt print or anything, but let me... Yeah, that's just a normal base card. But, yeah, absolutely, you guys, you're going to get everything. So that'll be win there. All right, back to the pile here. Richie Martin, Mike Ford, Nick Hundley, Wilson Contreras, George Springer, Daniel Vogelberg, Vogelbach, I should say, J.P. Crawford. Got a Tanner Rourke for the Reds. JT Real Muto and Luis Sessa. Oh, really? All right, let me take a look here. If that slipped by me. I mean, we'd go through it obviously during the sorting process, but if that slipped by, I'd be interested. Um You are correct, sir. You are very correct. I did miss that on the bottom border. Nice eye. So Washington, Colin, that is numbered 1461 of 2019. Very cool. Nice. Good eye. Very good eye. There we go. Nice. Zane with the eagle eye. Nice call, Zane. All right, so we've got uh, Braden Bishop, Marco Estrada, Adrian Sampson, Francisco Lariano. Got another Biggio here, though. Let me get some more sleeves out. That'll help. Go. That's quite a few of these uh, Biggios already, too. Let's get a count over there. See what we got. It looks like we've got. Uh, that's a third Biggio of the night. Get an early start on him. Obviously, Craig Biggio, the former Houston Astro uh, Hall of Famer. This is his dad. There's a Mike Yastrzemski. I believe it's Carl Yastrzemski is Mike Yastrzemski's uh, uncle. 
I believe, if I remember correctly. Michael Pineda. There's another Kikuchi. Stopping quite a bit here, but that's good. That means we're hitting rookies. Another one going out to Randy. Back to Navarez. Ross. Got a Rayu. Another insert with Vladdy on it. Alcantara. DeGrom. Got a uh, rookie combo for San Francisco. Got a 150 coming up. There's Jake Bowers' rookie card. Going out to Texas. Joey Gallo, 150th. Very nice. Rangers. Let's see here. Uh, it's been a minute or two since I called their name. Jeff. There you go. Not our Jeff, the uh, other half of the Brake Brothers. That would be a uh, slight conflict of interest. And why are these two top orders sticking together? There we go. Joey Gallo. 150. Followed by Iconic Card going out to the Pirates. There's a Roberto Clemente, or a Bob Clemente as they have him listed on there. That looks like the 1962. Really? I haven't compared their two swings. 36 subs. Nice. Nice. Well, again, anybody out here, if you're looking for a, a really fun um, channel to follow, check out Kid Baseball. Zane is a, an avid young collector. Very enthusiastic. We absolutely love checking it out. Um, we, we do subscribe to his channel. Uh, we do check out his videos. Uh, Really good stuff. Really good stuff there. So I, I highly recommend it. Don't break away right now during our break. But after you're done with this this break, go check them out. That is a Mike Trout. We usually do we sleeve all his. He's just cash money, it seems. That's just a normal Mike Trout. Billy Hamilton. Zane is pretty good. I gotta give it to him. Vladdy Guerrero. There's another one. Yeah, Zane knows what he's looking at. He, he knows what he's doing. Vladdy Guerrero. And that one goes out to Thomas. There's another one. So that is... Again, the, uh, let's check the Vlad Guerrero meter. He's at four. That's not counting those couple like little inserts where he's jumping up and down with everybody. Those are just his rookie cards. That's Monty Grandal with Merrifield. There's another Tatis. <laughs> well, hopefully you pick up a couple subs from here. Very cool. You guys will really like his channel. He's He's wildly enthusiastic. He knows his stuff, and uh, his presentation is great. Uh, there's a Fernando Tatis. Another one going out to Ryan. And let's see, where's our Tatises in my pile here? That's uh, that's only our second Tatis, but that already ties last night, I believe. He, he got two or three last night. Got another Guerrero Jr. here, though. Going out to Thomas. the all-star game version if you guys like these again we'll be doing uh, another tops update breaks uh, another set of these or another case of these in two halves we'll be doing that again next weekend got a Nick Senzel got a pretty good amount of Nick Senzels in these and the Reds also have the established 1869 cards which are a nice little subset of these Consolidate a couple of these. Looks like we've got uh, three, six, nine, twelve more. So we're at the halfway mark, guys. 
I'd like to see some sort of... Um... <laughs> right on, guys. Thanks a lot. And, and again, you guys actually take some time to check out the videos. You guys will be... Uh, you guys are really going to enjoy them. They're, they're, they're good people and the, uh, Zane is great. Looking for a relic or something. Let me just take a gander. Nah, don't think. No. Hmm. I'm sure we'll get something. They're always. We never get through one of these half cases without getting some sort of hit. But uh, so uh, typical tops uh, in their frequency. Mike Talkman, C.J. Cron, Cal Quantrill. Mike Zanino, Cole Tucker, Adam Jones, Sean Anderson, Trevor May, Brandon Rogers again, good rookie. We got Soraka. Again, the snakes celebrate with the uh, kind of cobra heads there. Good canning. Vado iconic reprint. Okay, we'll see what we can do. You get a decent amount of uh, Reds cards in these. Looks like we got another gold coming up. We got a Greatest Seasons Max Scherzer. Nothing there, but going to the Orioles. Hanser Alberto. Don't know him. Looks like he's been bouncing around the minor leagues for a little bit. 993 of 2019. And the Orioles. That is Ken. See you, Ken. There we go. The gold one. Followed by for the Reds, Johnny B. Great player and great guy. If you run into him, much nicer than Randy Johnson. Um, I've talked with Johnny before, and it wasn't at like a convention, like a ball card convention. This is just out in the wild. He's a super nice guy. Super guy. Super guy. He'll talk baseball with you. He'll sign an autograph. Um, really fantastic guy. Pete Alonzo. There's another rookie card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zane will remind you a lot of that. He's He's got, he's got the fever. He's got the fever for sure. And uh, I know myself and the other half of the Break Brothers, Jeff, uh, Collected from a very young age. Very young age. And um, like I said, it never really left apparently because we're still doing it. So. We got a dominant. Or Dwight Smith Jr., Brandon Kitzler, JD Hammer, JD Martinez, two JDs in a row, Joe Biagini, Charlie Morton, had a great year for Tampa. We've got Blake Parker. Gio Urshela, Keto Martin, Cody Bellinger. Here's your uh, MVP, All-Star Game. Followed by Pete Alonso again. This is what happened yesterday. Pete Alonso started out a little slow, and then he made up. Made up for all of it. Yeah, and that's that's what I like. Um, again, uh, kids these days have a lot of digital assets. A lot of the stuff they, uh, they have are... Uh, Stuff that isn't very physical. So it's very cool to see kids involved with cards. They have something physical in their hands. They own physically something. I think that's important too. <laughs> Though you got to find a home to store it. I know kids have a lot of stuff and it's just another thing you got to find a home for. But, um, you know, as far as things go and uh, hobbies and that, it's a fairly wholesome uh, hobby. So there's worse things that kids can be involved in. And, uh, like I said, this is something that down the road the stuff could be worth money as well. So we got another Vladdy Guerrero Jr. here. That being the base in this set. Very nice. And for Vladdy, I'm still keeping track here. And Gosh, what are we at? We're at five already for Vladdy. And that card's always followed by Brandon Brennan, Jose Iglesias, John Ryan Murphy, Grundahl, and Nick Ramirez.
Cabrera. We got a Dowdy. Love Lady again. Andrew Miller. Calvin Herrera. Real Deal McNeil. All Star game. Another All Star game. DJ LeMayhew. His game translated well, coming over from Colorado. Mike Messina. Moose. Just got in the Hall of Fame. And there you go. Now then we're going out to the Reds and Andrew. Kirk Asali. Gold. That's a wow, nice low one. 15 of 2019. Yeah, it's um there's a wonderful charity out there as well. If you guys have extra cards, it's uh I believe it's called Commons for Kids. And um, you can donate your commons, things that you know you just gonna sit on a shelf and um, you think you're never gonna get any money out of because they're commons, so you don't you can't really sell them and you don't really want to store them, you don't want to throw them away. Look at commons for kids. And again, it, it gets kids uh, cards in kids' hands that you know, might not otherwise collect or might not have uh, anything uh, for um, a hard asset, so to speak. And uh, so that's always uh, an opportunity if you guys have all, you know, extra cards. Yeah, <laughs> it's very true. Well, back in the day, there was a rush right around, uh, right around 1990, late 80s. And there are definitely others, uh, uh, as you're talking about. Let's keep an eye open for him. Hmm. Nice. Nice high average. Huh. We'll keep an eye open for this guy. Again, that one going out to the Twins, and that's Thomas tonight. Brew Crew. Yeah, um, the, the prices went down shortly after that, I can tell you that. Uh, but some of them have rebounded. Uh, I can tell you there was cards like the, uh, well, the Seattle, like the Griffey rookie may be an exception, but a lot of cards were worth a lot, then they dipped, and now they've come back a little bit. And there's a lot of cards. Um, when we got back into this, I went through our, we both, myself and my brother, went through our collections, and we found uh, cards that we had collected and went to see if there was any uh, worth anything of note. And I found a couple Gretzky rookies. Well, three three Gretzky rookies I had stashed away. And uh, they were still worth money, as it turns out. <laughs> yeah, the junk wax here was a bit overproduced, um, unfortunately. And that's, you know, they're, they're finding a home again in people's hearts these days. But it, it's going to be a while, I think, before they're worth any money again. All right, we got another gold coming up. There's a snake celebrate. Next one here is going out to Randy with Seattle. Braden Bishop. That is a gold rookie card. That is 1774. 2019. Going out to Randy. And Nick, we got one for you coming up here next. There's gold. Where's my gold pile? There we go. Next one up. 84 design, 35th anniversary, Eloy Jimenez. Rookie card. Very nice. Yeah, if you look at some of those uh, kind of junk wax here boxes um, and sets, they're going up in price again. Not, you know, not a ton, but they're, they're trending up again. So I think the farther you get away from those dates, they'll start to appreciate a little bit. Um, but, yeah, they just went too nuts. And they're, they're not that great of cards, and for the most part, there's not a ton of memorable rookies that make it worthwhile that you, you'd have to wade through to get to what you need. Uh, Derek Jeter, Corbin Martin, Hernandez, and... Oh, it's backwards. I thought that was going to be an auto. They gave me the okie doke. Oh, that's terrible. So is this... Uh, that's And that's a serial number 10, so it's not even like a... Uh, it's not even like a short print. Wow. All right. Wilmer Flores, Pedro Avila, J.P. Crawford, Tanner Rourke, J.T. Real Amuto, Luis Sessa, Mookie Betts. I'm wondering whether he's going to get moved. 
Dodgers seem uh, like they're pretty interested. Josh Donaldson still hasn't moved yet. He looks like he may end up with maybe the Nationals, it sounds like. I guess uh, Dodgers are also looking at Lindor, but they've had some kind of a stalled out the uh, negotiation process on that one. So not sure if Lindor is going to end up getting moved or not. We got a Tatis Jr. right on the back there. So that's good news for you, Ryan. Man, keeping my eye out for a relic or something. All right, Tommy Stella, Devin Smeltzer. Annabelle Sanchez, Harold Ramirez, Yonder Alonzo, got a Mike Talkman, CJ Cron, Cal Quantrill, back to Mike Zanino, Cole Tucker, Adam Jones, got a Luis Castillo, for Seattle, got the rookie combos, Mike Soraka, another Snakes. And a couple of these we've seen before. Followed by four of the Angels. Jose Suarez, 150th. Rookie card. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you know, he liked to throw grenades and burn bridges behind him, unfortunately. But, I mean, when you had the Bash Brothers back in the day with McGuire, I mean, they were... Terrors, absolute terrors. And he, you know, I saw him, <laughs> footage of him when he got out of baseball, he was just destroying softball leagues and stuff like that. And he's probably destroying buffets too, but um, yeah, it's a shame, you know. And then when he kind of was labeled as a rat uh, about the steroid stuff, but, you know, the stuff he said came true, so, you know, grain of salt. Um, he just. He doesn't care, and I guess a lot of people just took it the wrong way. I, I like Conseco. As much of a meathead as he is, he's a good guy, I think. Not that he's a good guy, but um, I don't know. I, I don't. I wouldn't mind seeing a little more of, of Jose Conseco. Anyway, there's a uh, going out to uh, Andrew. There's a Reds Nick Senzel, 1984 35th anniversary rookie card. Not numbered. He is. He is. He's still looking for relevancy, unfortunately, and you'll do some stupid things to try to keep relevant. It's unfortunate, but there we go. Nick Senzel. For sure. Jackie Robinson, and we've got... Is that a... Oh, I got excited with the blue border. I was expecting maybe uh, some sort of number. So that's a Greatest Seasons, 150th, Blue Border. Uh, well, I shouldn't say Blue Border. It's not really of note, the Blue Border. But um, Pudge, Pudge Rodriguez, great, 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 great catcher. Flores, Pedro Vila, Mookie Betts, Zach Britton, JT, JD, JD, uh, Biagini, Got a Blake Parker, who's another Geo, Kettle Marte, Kevin Cron, Edwin Encarnacion. Did he sign with the White Sox, I think? I think I heard that he ended up signing with the White Sox. I actually was hoping he was going to walk the parrot a little bit more in uh, Toronto, but didn't come to be. Uh, Toronto went out and got uh, Travis Shaw instead uh, when they were looking for a first base solution. Uh, they're just not ready to hand Rowdy Tellez any kind of job at this point. He's just been a little bit inconsistent. He'll swing at anything you, you throw in front of him, unfortunately. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, the blue border. Well, that's, that's good. Let's see here. Let me uh, pull that out. Put that to the side here a little bit. Where did it go? There we go. There's the pudge. Fantastic player, guys, by the way. For Texas. 
for Jeff. We got a lot more of the rainbow foil yesterday. I want to say we got like almost 10 of those, and we haven't got many of those here, but I mean, they're just another parallel. Bishop, Estrada, Samson. We got an iced out again. Another uh, Yuri's Familia. Oberg, Santana. Got a Baltimore rookies. Got a Rayu. Followed up by. Yankee CC Sabathia, 3,000 Ks, 150th. That one goes out to Randy. Yeah, exactly. We got a ton of those uh, in the first half of this case. We've got one tonight, I think, which is super unusual because usually we pick up a few more of those. Next up for the Pirates, we've got a Cole Tucker, Rainbow, 35th Anniversary, 1984 design. That is Thomas. And again, guys, stick around to the end of this. We're giving away two items as bonuses. We did not list them in the uh, ad itself. Um, just we weren't sure what we were going to do, and we didn't want to inflate prices needlessly. So stick around. Everybody is eligible. Got a Paul Goldschmidt. That has got to be a short print, I imagine. Because that is not his normal card, unless that's the base, which I don't think it is. Yeah, that is a short print. I need to check whether it's a super short print. That is a uh, 55 I can't remember if it's a 55 or a 57 or a 53. I gotta, I'm gotta trying to remember the order of those. But very nice. Going out to Andrew. Nice short print. Very, very nice. Kevin Gutierrez, got Pollock, Boxberger, Hamilton, Cutter, Keyboom, Yasiel Puig, Josh Donaldson. There's another Acuna. Santana, Woodruff, Grandal, Merrifield, and another Tatis Jr. Outstanding going out to Ryan. Up to on me. Got three Tatis rookies so far. Got a Dallas Keuchel recently signed. Jason Martin, Lourdes Garcia. Got a Zach Puizak, Tommy Lestella, Smeltzer. Got Yonder Alonso, another Renato. Nunez, Jonathan Lucroy. I've seen, I want to see a couple of Lucroys. I don't think that's the, that is the base though. Got Elbers, Severino, Castillo. We've got another gold foil coming up here finally. And it's an Eloy Jimenez. That's the way you do it. Rookie debut, foil parallel. Nice. Going out to Nick. I thought we were, ended up a little short on some of those. Nice. Going out to Eloy. Followed by, for the Mets, Robinson Cano, 35th anniversary. Get some more top loaders out here, folks. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us on this football Sunday. I know you guys got some other options of things to do, but I'm glad you chose to spend some time with us tonight. We 
go, Robinson Cano. Got an Ernie Banks going out to the Cubbies. Perennial All-Star. Drew Pomerantz. Martin Hernandez. Wilmer Flores. Nick Hundley. Wilson Contreras. George Springer. Dan Vogelbach. J.P. Crawford. Got another Tanner Rourke. J.T. Ray Lamuto. Sessa. All right. The usual suspects here. All right, guys. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. We have got. Uh, I'm gonna open up two here, and then we'll have four more packs. And again, there's 34 cards per pack, so we still got a bit more cards here to go. Interesting distribution compared to yesterday. Much stuff changes between a half case. Still got some nice cards tonight. Although we haven't had a hit hit tonight, which is a little alarming. Luke Weaver, Will Smith, another good rookie for the Dodgers. Travis Darno. There's another Eloy. The slug cards. Free all day. All the slugs you want. Free all day. Yeah. Got a big old pile of those. We broke some uh, 2018 cards. Uh, it was a football. We broke some 2018 football a while back, and each one had a uh, kids reporter card that had expired, and we ended up with, I think, 400 of those. Oh, they were a mess. Uh, again, another Eloy going out to Nick. That's the third Eloy, so he's playing a little bit of catch-up. Got another Kevin Biggio. Um... Sometimes it's to offset, you know, um, packs, either the weight or if it's something that's got a uh, relic in it, they put that in another pack just to kind of make it look like it's as thick. So you, you don't visibly have a visible uh, indication of what's in a pack. They also have the little security thing in them, but they're not in every pack, which is strange. But and I, I don't want to tell this as being gospel or anything, but I did find a lot of ones that have that in it do have some sort of hit in it. At least like some of the Allen and Ginters and some of those. When they do have that, that security card in it, it seems like those are the ones with hits in it. And I don't want to say that for sure and you guys go pull all those and they don't have them in it. But I found that that be somewhat of a correlation, I should say. So there's a Kevin Biggio. Brell, Kelly, Perez, Tanaka. We got some of these we've seen already. More of the Washington combo. Walsh, Kershaw, Buer, Bird, and another foil. This one going out to Arizona, though. Merrill Kelly. As Wesley. Alright, where's the foils? There we go. Oh, we got a Keston, 35th anniversary. Right off the bat there. Very nice. Next up, we got a Roy Halladay. Going out to the uh, Blue Jays. 3,000 Ks. We got another Nailer. Key Broom. Got a Cunha Jr. Oh, yeah. I, I tell you, those Walmart Relics ones, those uh, Series 2 are great. And as 2018s, you got a chance at finding some great rookies in there, too. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Yeah, if I can find them. I'll usually pick them up. Those uh, they're usually like the fat packs, and they're usually under five bucks. They're a pretty good buy because you can get yourself an Acuna rookie out of there. And there's a slug right there. The little security piece on it. All right. I think um, after I go through this pile, before we go, I'm going to run and grab the uh, those couple bonus items because we're going to need those in a couple of minutes. 
an Anderson, a May, a Rogers, a Strom, a Riley, Alvarado, another one of these, got a Goldschmidt, another Griff Canning, Parallels Pose, Tigers and White Sox, Smith, a Blackman. Yeah, A-Rod's another guy, um, kind of lost on the radar. He seems like he was mostly known for being an announcer these days, unfortunately. But uh, just a great player as well. There we've got a Josh Naylor, 150 going out to San Diego. That's a rookie. I wonder if that's a base picture. Yeah, it is a base picture. Still pretty nice. Next up, Frank Robinson, Cincinnati Redlegs, iconic card, not numbered, however. Got a Mookie Betts, there's a nice Hank Aaron, family business. Pete Alonzo, making another late run here. Kinsler, Allen, got Morton again, Parker, there's another Geo, Kettle, MVP, Cody Bellinger, another Pete Alonzo. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, it, it took down a lot of good players, the Clemenses, um, McGuire's. The, I was never a big Bonds fan, I'll admit, but... Nevertheless, guys with some stats, it, it took down. Some guys uh, got passed at the Pettits. Seemed to kind of uh, move on by it. All right, guys. Um, give me one second here. I'm going to run uh, to our storage closet here and grab those couple bit of items, those two items we're going to give away after this. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. We are all set for the giveaway. Just wanted to grab those items real quick. All right, guys, four packs left. Good luck, everybody. Still got a chance for us to get a couple more cards. I'd really try to keep an eye open for a relic or an auto. Um, this will be the first time that this is, happens that we haven't got one in a half case. Not ideal. All right, guys, home stretch here. First up, Sean Anderson, Trevor May. Brandon Rogers again, great uh, great player. Alvarado, another one of these. Goldschmidt, got Nate Lau, Wade Miley. Got a purple. Oh, jeez, 
<laughs> I didn't see it was Colorado. I thought it was a an actual uh, uh, perhaps a parallel. My bad. Verlander. This one is though Martin Perez for the Twins. That's a gold or a uh, rainbow foil. That's going out to Thomas. Oh, right on. I'm hoping he does too. I took a quick look, and the tops ones typically aren't that uh, um, aren't that uh, thick. So you very well could be. And uh, Ryan, or not Ryan, Andrew with the Reds. You got the card you were looking for, by the way. It's coming up next. So here you go. There's your Joey Votto rookie card reprint. Iconic. I think that might have been the one you were looking for. I'm hoping here. I'm keeping my eyes open. Zane's been right more than he's been wrong, so. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and there's more Alonzo. Again, he, he caught up. He got, the, the Alonzo got the cards, uh, Started out slow, but in the end, there was absolutely a ton of Alonzos again. Oh, you got the original as well. There you go. Yeah, Votto's for real. Uh, the other half of the Break Brothers has the ultimate Votto card, though. Uh, we both respect Votto, um, especially his interaction with the crowd. Uh, Jeff, the other half of the Break Brothers, and he's in the room, uh, chat room here. He has the triple booklet Joey Votto All-Star Game. So all three panels of the booklet together form this huge All-Star Game panel. It takes up three booklet pages, the, the entire thing. It's, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, we, we dig on Joey Votto. Uh, Knitzler. We got Bellinger. There's another Pete Alonzo. Woo! Mary Lou. Mets, Mets, and more Mets, just like yesterday. There we go. Lines are coming on strong. Matt Festa, Dylan Moore, Austin Riley, Jordan Lyles. Got another 2,000 Pujols. We got Elvis Luciano, Alex Bregman. There's another Oscar. Good rookie for Cleveland. We'll do a recap at the end of this, guys. Come on. There we go. All right. Bye bye, Lariano. Another Kevin Biggio. Very nice. Got Derek Holland. Another Mike Yastrzemski. Votto's got a great attitude. He, he he's either very good or very bad with the people around him, either in around the uh, on deck circle and or first base. It, his interaction with people is fantastic. The videos out there are great. And we got another Kikuchi. Wow. A couple of these packs, really strong. All right. Got a Navarez, a Ross, Keuchel, Duplantier, Martin. Uh, let's see. 
Grom, uh, San Francisco, Jake Bowers. All right, so there's our first of the Reds 1869 established. There's an Eric Davis. I haven't seen an Eric Davis one before. There we go, going out to the Reds. Next up, going back to the foils, Kevin Biggio. Very nice. So Toronto doing pretty well tonight. Got Kyle Stremski, Mike's uncle. There's another Vladdy Jr. Wow. Again, finishing strong here. Let's see. Uh, Vladdy, Vladdy, Vladdy. Where's that pile? There we go. Pomerantz. Another Guerrero Jr. Woo! Holy cow. Mounties uniform. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I remember that. Vladdy Jr. So Vladdy coming on strong here at the end. Rogers, Bell, another Nick Senzel. Wow. The rookies are piling up here at the end. Martin, Ford, Hunley, Contreras, Springer, Vogelbach, and a Gregory Soto. All right, guys, we're on kind of the home stretch here, although it's been pretty kind to us. Got a LeMahieu, another Reynolds, Freddie Galvis, Alex Jackson, Trevor Cahill, Peter Lambert, Ryan Harper. There's a Moose, Adam Warren, another Keston here. Going out to Milwaukee. Castro, Vino, Hand, Helsley, Robles. There's a 150. Going out to the Red Sox, Mike Sharwin. Not too bad. Not numbered, but that is his rookie card as well. So getting another one in here for the Red Sox for you. Going out to James. There you go. Followed by a 1984 going up to the Phillies. Andrew McCutcheon, 35th anniversary. There it is. Followed by Bryce Harper, Shane Green, Corbin Martin. Brooks and a Russell Martin. This is going to be shocking. If we don't get a relic or an auto, that's going to be very strange. Michael Brantley. He's got Chris Bryant. That one going on to Zane. Kevin Pillar. Carlos Santana. I guess I'm feeling good that we're giving away a couple of things because, in lieu of that, that's kind of disappointing. Shelby Miller, Chen Wang, 
Arch Vicious. We have Mike Trout. Xander Bogarts. Because even for uh, retail, I have certain base expectations for retail as far as you should see something in a case. And we did get something in the first half, but second half we haven't yet. And usually there's a, at least a couple of pieces you can hang your hat on, even if they're the kind of napkin relics. Chris Bryant, you know it. There's another Keston. So Keston finishing strong here as well. Kelly and a Keller. Okay, let's see here. All right, guys, here's the last little stack. Then we'll give away a couple of items. We've got a Junior Guerrero, Tommy Edmond, Hunter Pence, got a Verlander, a Steel City, going to the south side of Chicago for a Mancata. We've got a Shane Bieber, Jose Barrios. We've got another foil here. That one going out to the Cubbies, Craig, Craig Kimbrell. Nice. Not numbered, but still nice card. Yeah, that'll happen from time to time <laughs> with Trout. Oh my goodness, I went through all those top loaders again. All right, let me open a couple more top loaders. Yeah, I, I know. I get you something there, Cubbies. It's been a little slow, so glad we can get something heading your way. Kimbrell. Kimbrell, let's see where we got foils right there. All right. Flores. Followed by a blue border. I don't know if that's the Father's Day. I'll have to take a look. Charlie Morton going out to the Rays. That's Randy. That's going to be a nice low number. 47 out of 50. Good to see something going the Ray's way. Well, I don't think that's a Father's Day. Usually it says something in the border. It just might be a blue border. Nice. We got an Independence Day in the first uh, half. There's a Garrett Cole. Doesn't have the beard there, and it's not going to have a beard in New York, so already shaved that off. 35th anniversary, and that one going out to the Astros. And Robert. And what we'll end up doing is uh, we'll go through a quick recap right when we get down with these last couple cards, and then we'll go into those uh, those couple items. Got a Babe Ruth going out to New York. Justin Bohr, Nicky Lopez, Clayton uh, Richard, Odorizzi, Luciano. Oh, well, we've seen this sequence before. There's a Mercado. Lucas Giolito, Amir Garrett, Austin Meadows, Frankie Montes, Jerkson Profar, Hector Neris, and Christian Yelich is the last card. There we go. All right, guys. So let me do a quick recap here for you, and then we'll get into the items. And uh, as typical here, we'll take a look at spends. If there's something that's really disproportionate, I mean, everybody's going to end up with, I think, at least 15 cards, if not more. I mean, some of the teams will end up with probably 75 cards. So some of them really do end up with a lot of cards. If there's some big disparity in what you paid and what you got, um, we'll try to take a look and throw a couple extra cards in. We're usually pretty good about that. We try to take care of everybody. Um, you know, we have a lot of return customers here, which is always great to see. We have a lot of new customers, and we want to make you new customers repeat customers. And we do tend to ship stuff uh, reasonably quick. Um, the stuff from Friday has already been sorted and ready to go out. We were waiting on tonight to see if we had any uh, return customers that were in Friday because often we'll have, um, if they're only a day or two apart, we'll have customers good into both. And just for the new guys, if you do get in a, a draft or a draft, a break where 
we haven't you're in one that we haven't shipped yet we will give you shipping on the second break or third break whatever it happens to be um, as if it's the same break as the first so usually it's 4.99 for the first team and then two dollars for each additional team to ship um, and we do cap that at like uh, i think it's 14 and change wherever the uh, flat rate box for priority is um, so if you pick 20 teams it doesn't matter you're never going to pay more than that but what i was saying is if you um were to do one on friday and then do one today we would treat today's teams would start at two dollars to ship because they'd be added on to the the previous order basically so just so you guys know all right guys let's do a quick recap here and then we will get on to the giveaway items uh let's see what are we going to do here first let's go through some rookies we'll start out with uh nick senzel here for nick looks like did pretty well um looks like five of these rookies plus an 84 35th anniversary plus a short print rookie card so the red's doing pretty well in the nick senzels good stuff there uh we appreciate that we really do honestly we, again kid baseball we we appreciate you, you guys coming back um all you guys that come back we, we really do appreciate it. it it's um we really do enjoy seeing you guys back and it's not just you know business for us it's good a lot of the people that come back are very good people uh we love interacting with you so um really great to see you guys all right we got uh and plus don't forget uh, you're gonna get all the rest of the, the the reds cards as well not just the the ones we're highlighting here in the break uh recap you're, you're gonna be getting everything else as well but um we'll show you which we you know the kind of highlight items here so we got the eloy jimenez going out to nick and that is three rookie cards, and one of them is a rainbow foil. So that is kind of nice. And it's his rookie debut card, as you can see down there. So very nice. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Kevin Biggio. Kevin ended up with, looks like, six rookie cards, including a rainbow foil as well. Really nice. A little bit of something on there. Very nice. And speaking of Toronto, let's go ahead and get the Vladdies out of the way, too. And Toronto tonight was Thomas. So let's see. We got anything crazy in here? No, nothing too crazy, but let's get these sorted a little bit. Looks like three of the Home Run Derby rookies. Three of the Rookie Debut and two of the base so pretty good eight for vladdy guerrero jr not bad put that with the um kevin biggios and toronto's had a good night uh shavis shavis a little slower than i thought he ended up with four rookie cards and again you're gonna get all the rest of the the uh red Sox as well so we got four from shavis Let's see, Mercado. We got four for Mercado. Not a bad night for him, including a 1984 35th anniversary design. Going out to Cleveland. And Cleveland tonight is Kenny. Let's see. Tatis. We ended up with three Tatis tonight. So three of his rookie debut rookie cards. And that is going out to Ryan. Keston's here. Keston had a good night, looks like. So, looks like six rookie cards for Milwaukee and uh, for the Keston Hieras, including a 1984 rookie card, 35th anniversary. That's good stuff for uh, the Brewers. And there's some Kikuchi here. We got three Kikuchi rookie cards. And I didn't feature it in it, but we do have the showy Tani, I think. Uh, that'll be in our 1984 ones I'm going to show in a second here. So we got three Kikuchis. And let's see, grab some Yastrzemski's here. Looks like we got three Yastrzemski rookie cards. And that is going out to the Giants, who are... That's Mar uh, Marcel. Marcel with three of these. Yes, we're on to Alonzo here. Alonzo had the late run. Alonzo, we've got eight Alonzos. So right about where uh, 
every one of these cases has sat eight Alonzo rookies Matt's doing well Mary Lou all right what do we got next here let's go with the 84s we'll go with the 84s here We've got a Garrett Cole Astros We've got Andrew McCutcheon Phillies Robinson Cano Mets and again there's some of these were already featured if they were an Eloy or whatever they would already be in that other pile uh, Pirates Cole Tucker I take that back <laughs> there's Eli Jimenez so Eli was that means four Eloys uh, if I remember correctly now um, four five, let's see so that makes four El four Eloys so they did have the gold foil plus the 84 plus this. so four Eloys came out of that uh, Pirates Comente back to the Astros with Brantley Kerry Wood going out to the Cubbies 35th anniversary and there's that error uh, rookie for the Angels Shoei Itani so that goes out to Matt all right let's see what we got next here let's go with the 150s the ones with the 150 uh, gold foil we got one Red Sox Mike uh, Sharon or something like that Josh Naylor for uh, Oops, San Diego. For the Yanks, we got 3,000 Ks for CC Sabathia. Jose Suarez for the Angels. We've got a Joey Gallo going out to Texas. Another one, we got the Goat going out. 150 for the Yankees. Diamondbacks getting involved. 150 with Greg Holland. And Washington with Carter Kierboom. Right on. All right, what do we got next here? Let's go with the foils and such we've oh we do have the pudge parallel in there going out to texas and we didn't see much for short prints i think we only had one short print which is that uh senzel so we've got craig kimbrell for the cubbies gold foil martin perez for the twins gold foil for the diamondbacks merrill kelly and for san francisco tyler austin so, all right, now we're on to the golds. I believe gold, 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 and gold with one blue. All right. First up, we've got a Braden Bishop going out to Seattle. And that is Randy. Kurt Caselli going out to the Reds. That's Andrew. Baltimore, Hanser Alberto. And that's Ken. Going out to Washington and the Nats today. That's Colin. And again, let me uh, let me back up just a hair here, guys. I'm sorry. Bishop was 1774. Hanser Alberto is 993. Kurt Casale, 15. Nice. James Bork, Jake Knoll. 1461. Going out to Milwaukee. Matt Elbers. 26. Nice. Marco Estrada for the A's. 1540. Going out to Jeff. Jim Bunning with the Phillies. Black Border. That's Kenny. And that is 264, 299. Going out to Texas. Adrian Sampson. 137. Phillies again, David Robertson. 66. And Charlie Morton, blue border. The Rays are going to come up here in a second when we get to the bonus items. That's 47 to 50. Nice low one. Very nice. And that one going out to the Rays and Randy. All right, guys. we got two items to give away for you here. And then we will get on with the night here. Let you guys go. So the first item, let's go. Like I mentioned the first one before. Let's go give the 8x10 away. Again, this is a mid-tier player. Uh, let's see here. Let me get these out of the way here, actually. Make this easy. Er. And then we got one more item after this. Again, these weren't things advertised. Just stuff we want to do for you. We want to thank you guys for joining us here at the beginning of the 2020 break season, I guess you'd call it. And we look forward to seeing you guys later in the year. As you guys uh, looking for stuff with breaks, uh, hopefully you keep an eye on our channel. Um, 
save our or mark or favorite our eBay store and also be sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube you'll find out if you go back and, and take a look if you haven't been with us before we do a ton of breaks usually around four a week uh, four nights a week we'll be in here either with eBay breaks or um, opening just single boxes of stuff just to show you guys what we find uh, some of the stuff's pretty common some of the stuff's kind of unusual and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it so all right so the first item we have here is an 8x10 and it's not going to be in eh, it's going to give me grief here so this is chris ionetta for colorado rockies it's an infielder he's played for a couple of teams he's back with the rockies uh last year i don't know if he's a free agent or what his story is now but I'm trying to get this so it's at least a little bit in focus and cannot anyway comes with a certification 141 uh career home runs He's got a decent on-base percentage, does not strike out, uh, walks a lot. He just kind of uh, gets, a job, gets a job done. So we'll give that away first. And what we're going to do is roll some dice here, and then we will randomize it. So let me get some of this set up here. Let me uh, flip over. One second, guys. All right, so what we're going to do is grab our list of uh, teams here. That is our teams. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice here. However many it comes up is the amount of times we're going to randomize it. The team on top after randomizing it is going to be the winner of that 8x10. And we have one more item for you. Um, a bit more timely. Then Chris Ionetta, it's, uh, it's a little bit scientific. It's not auto or anything, but you guys may uh, find it interesting. Anyway, here we go. So our first one is a two. It is a two. So let's go back to this. We're going to randomize this two times. Here we go. Once. And whoever's on top after this gets the 8x10 auto from Chris Ionetta. And that is... <laughs> The Colorado Rockies. I have to say, a lot of the teams of the stuff we're giving away are going to the team that's actually represented, which is uncanny. Um, we did have one exception last night, though. So the Rockies, let's see here. Jonathan. Jonathan, you're getting the 8x10 from the Rockies. So that works out really well. Very cool. All right, we're going to do this one more time. What we have next is from the Rays, Chris Archer. Stormtrooper. This is a bobblehead, brand new. Let's see if I can slide it out of the box to show you guys. And again, Chris Archer and Star Wars just came out recently. This is the Star Wars bobblehead of Chris Archer. He's quite heavy here, actually. Wow, quite heavy. You guys won't pay any additional shipping to get him to you, however. We will take care of that. He is large and heavy. So there we go. We're going to give that away next. And give me one second here. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's go here over back to the randomizer, and let's get some more teams. Let's actually do this. Let's get our teams again. All right, here we go, guys. We've got our teams. Let's go back to the dice. That one's a five, so we're gonna randomize this list five times, and winner of that's gonna get this Chris Archer Star Wars bobblehead. All right, guys, good luck, everybody. Five times, one, two, three, four. All right, one more time, guys, and the guy on top, or gal, is gonna have uh, themselves a bobblehead. Here we go. St. Louis Cardinals. 
All right, who's the Cardinals? And David. It's been a quiet night for David. Not so much anymore. He just won himself a Chris Archer bobblehead. So congratulations to him. Let me uh, get this stuff out here. Make sure I got a message or a note on here so I know who these go to once we uh, break here. Get done. And I can't find the pen anywhere. Oh, there it is. All right. This one's going to the Rockies. And that one's going to St. Louis. All right, guys. think that's going to do it for us. Awesome. Good seeing you, Andrew. Great to have you here. All the guys that are, are new to us, thanks again for coming and stopping by. Hopefully you'll do it again with us. We do have some pretty interesting stuff coming through. And uh, subscribe to keep an eye on it all. We, we uh, appreciate your business tonight, guys. Uh, we're going to let you guys go. It's about 8.15 on the East Coast. We know it's a Sunday. People got work tomorrow. It's the beginning of the year. So we'll let everybody go. But be safe. Take, uh, see you, Kid Baseball. See you, Zane. See you, Mike. See you, everybody. Um, be safe, and we'll talk to you again soon. Look for these cards to be shipped in the next couple days, probably about three days. I'm imagining somewhere in a Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. And uh, when you get a tracking number, that means it's on its way. It doesn't mean we printed a, a shipping label and then we walked away for two weeks like most of these people just to keep e eBay off of them. If you get a tracking number in the morning, it means it's going out that day. If you get a tracking number at night, it means it's going out in the morning and it'll be in their possession. So thanks again, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you guys soon.